using the brushes app, which is the small blue box with the art palette in the middle, press on that. The next thing you want to do is open a new canvas. So you go to the plus in the top right hand corner. I'd like you to choose portrait. Because I'm on the iPad Pro, I'm just going to go across and I'm going to choose Pro. The next thing you do, you need to pinch in the screen with using two fingers so you can see the edge of your canvas and you know how big your photo is when you import it. At the top right hand corner you've got three little icons, the Bluetooth, the photo icon and the export box. You need to choose the little landscape photo icon and there you'll be able to see your photo album. Again, you can pinch the photo in and out and move it around until you're happy where it is on the screen. The bigger your photo is, the easier it is going to be to trace. When you're happy, press accept. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little square box with a number 2. Press on the number 2 and this opens your layers. Layers are really important when you're doing this digital drawing because you need to work on separate layers for the outline, for the colour and for the details. I need you now to lock the layer with your photo on. So you can see it's highlighted in blue, you press on the little padlock and that means you can't draw on it. It's really important you do not draw on the photo. Then press the little plus on the right hand side and that opens up a new layer ready for you to start your drawing. So step two is to start drawing. So you'll need to select the colour. So down in the bottom left hand corner, there's your colour palette. And you can see you've got the colour palette. If you move that around, you've got loads and loads of different colours. Make sure you're on black. So you want to bring the little circle down into the bottom right. And this is your opacity bar. Make sure that's on the far right as well. So it's a really strong black colour you're using for the outline. Next, this is just a little whether you're working with a paintbrush or a rubber, and we want to work with a paintbrush. And then this little swish tells us what type of paintbrush we're using. And there's a wide choice, all types of different ones, lots of different effects. For this task, you need to choose one that's a very solid line. It's got a very smooth edge to it, very solid colour in the middle. If you can't find it, press the little plus in the top right hand corner, and that will add in new brushes. You've got this bar here, this is the size of your brush and I'm going to select a size 10 because that's about the right size for the outline I want to use. Okay, something up here is going to be much too big. Then you could the next thing along that bottom line is a backwards arrow. That's your reverse or undo, undo again. Step 3 is to start drawing the features on your face. Before you start, double check you're on the right layer. In the bottom right hand corner, click on the little box which should say number three. The layer you're drawing on is highlighted in blue. Check that your photo layer, the padlock, is closed. When you're happy with your outline and you've checked the edges to make sure they're all really neat, then take a screenshot and add it to your digital portfolio. Step 4. In the bottom right hand corner, click on the number 3. Now, lock the outline, okay? The layer that you've drawn your outline, you need to press the padlock and close it down. Open a new layer by pressing the plus and then you'll notice there's three little lines on the right hand side. If you hold on those three little lines you can drag that layer underneath. I'm going to open the eye and I'm going to hold my finger or my pencil on an area of my drawing to select a colour. 
So if I hold my pencil down on the skin here, you can see the circle appears and that helps me select a colour. Okay, you can see it's red there, it's like a peachy colour on my cheeks. I'm going to go for this colour down here. Okay, and you can see in the bottom left hand corner now, that has selected that skin tone for you. I'm going to keep with the solid brush, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe about 30. Double check I'm on the right layer, highlighted in blue. Double check the other two are locked. And then I'm just going to start filling in my skin tone. So all you need to do is zoom right in, select your rubber, maybe bring it down again, maybe to like 10 or 12, and just rub along here. You won't rub out the outline because your outline is on a separate layer. Step five. Once you've finished colouring in the whole of your portrait, you need to add a background. So this is where you need to go to your layers in the bottom right hand corner and you need to select layer one. This is your background layer. Okay. The next thing you need to do is go over to the bottom left and choose a colour. So I'm going to choose this kind of nice turquoise blue. And it doesn't really matter, it's up to you what colour you choose. And then I'm going to the cog over in the bottom right. If I press on the cog, you'll see a whole list of different things you can do. For this task, we want fill layer. So if we fill layer, we get a really nice bright colour in the background. And then we can lock that. And we've got all of our first layers done. Take a screenshot. Step five, you want to start adding detail to your work. And the easiest way to do that is to go to your outline layer, press the plus, so you're adding a layer on top. Select white, so we want a nice bright white, so you need to move it right over to the top left of this box here. Make sure it's on totally opaque, totally bold colour. And we want a little highlight in the eye. So a little kind of dot or line or something to show that within your eye there's a little bit of reflection. And you can see the difference already. That's suddenly brought your drawing to life. Because I wear glasses, one of the other things I like to do, um, I'm going to make this a little bit transparent. And I'm going to just choose a slightly different brush. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm just going to test it. I'm going to add a little bit of a glaze to my glasses. Step six, we want to add some highlight and shadow to our skin tone, our clothing and our hair. A lot of Opie's later work included more highlights and shadows. So to do this, we need to make sure we're working on a separate layer. So bottom right hand corner, select your layers. I'm going to go to my layer with my skin tone on because I want to add skin tone. So I'm going to add a layer there and I'm going to plus. OK, every other layer is locked. I want to add skin tone onto my face layer there. OK. Then I'm going to hold my pen down on my skin to make sure I've got the right colour. And then I'm just going to kind of move this around somewhere to find something a little bit darker. I'm going to stick with my solid brush and I'm going to use it on about a 20. And I'm going to zoom in and I just want to add a line of shadow just around the edge of my face here 
Now it's nothing too dramatic. My chin, 